What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog. We've got a fun one today. We're fishing a brand new pond that we have never dangled, but we catch some good ones in today's video. I think you guys are gonna like it. I'm over here fishing with Jacob, who actually hit me up this morning by text 217-288-4070. I'm trying to do a lot of fishing with you guys who are texting in on my new platform. Let's go ahead and meet up and do some dangling, boys and girls. But let's get into today's episode. It's gonna be a good one. Rolling up with the goodies, boys. Woo yup, yup, yup. Where's my trench hog? I was just about to tie this thing on. Where'd he go? There he is. Come to Papa. Bama bug, trench hog. Never thrown this color. I really just kind of break the rules. Like, I don't really care. Yeah. So right now, I literally have my drop shot on that 7.6 Heavy. I just... Oh, I know. <laughs> like, you know, it does nothing really matters to me. I'm thinking trench hog for a second. Never thrown this color. Something a little bit bigger. Something different than what you're throwing. We'll see what happens. Oh yeah, the trench hog for me, a lot of times, I'll catch them swimming it in uh, the last like 10 to 15 yeah, feet off the bank. Off. Yeah, so it's so good. So I'll, I'll pop it out here and then I might just cruise it on by the bank or something. The freaking drop shot has been like crushing it. Wow. I'm gonna probably throw that, <laughs> I'll probably throw that pretty quick, dude, because I don't know, midday, midday hustle. Yes, oh yeah, 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 definitely. Dude, it like pushes the current all the way over here. That's sweet. There he is. Good one, bro. Drop shot. Uh, he's a two. Oh, and that's how you don't catch a fish. Yep. He was barely hooked. That was a two right there off that uh, aerator, guys. First fish of the morning. Or is it even morning? He ran with it quick, too. It was moving. I'm like, I guess that current really is pushing this little dragon drop, but it was him. That's funny. Oh, there he is. There he is. He's on. Little, that's a tyke, a little tyke. Smallest bass we've ever seen out of here. Well, it's probably because you're throwing like the smallest bait they've ever seen. Yeah, I bet so. I was kind of shocked that that first one was decent size. Oh, there he goes. I'll tell you what, I think I might just rig up another one. Check this out, guys. Oh my gosh, I literally just got this on Black Friday. This is a Bass Mafia box. Oh yeah, check me out. Got all the terminal goodies in here. They've been catching a lot of fish for me lately. Drop shot has just been on point. Oh my God, Jacob just had a good bite, you guys, on the jig. I've switched things up just a little bit from that drag and drop I lost. That was a natural one, and it was a little closer to the weight. So now I'm a little further from the weight, made a little bit more distance with my Palomar knot. The weight is a quarter ounce Wu Tungsten, uh, whatever style weight this is. It's like not the teardrop, it's more lengthy. And the drag and drop is the watermelon red flake color, which I think stands out a little bit more in this water than the natural. Let's give this baby a toss. Got one. Another little guy. It's a, oh, oh God, oh God, rebate. <laughs> it was a bluegill. He just darted off. He was fat. We should be throwing that bluegill swim bait, I guess. <laughs> oh, oh God, he had it. He's got it, he's got it, he's got it. This one could be a two pounder plus. Here we go. He's swimming right towards us though. Got him. He's a little, he's a little guy. All right, all right. Got him out there by the, uh, well, casting towards the fountain. Thanks, bro. Yeah. Well, to be fair, Jacob's telling me these ones are small for this pond, and I 100% believe him because I know there's big fish in here. But uh, I'm throwing the drop shot, so for me, just trying to get a few bites before maybe I try something else. When we get back around to the backpack and all the tackle, I might throw, I might uh, upsize, I might do something like a chatterbait or a spinnerbait, who knows. But there we go, boys. That's what I'm talking about. Peace out, homie. Hey, you on fire. There's a, like a dust bubble. Something just took off. I don't know if it was a turtle or a fish. Oh, hits. Got him. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Another small one. We'll take him. I think that's bass number three. I am not tripping. 
There's his splash. I just released him off camera. That's my bad. I've been tending to do that a lot lately, but anyways, we're catching bass. <laughs> All right, guys, so we circled this entire pond over here, and we were throwing a jig and a drag and drop, and uh, what seemed to be doing the trick was the drag and drop. Obviously, you've seen me catch a few fish. Jacob has yet to land one with the jig, so we went ahead and rigged him up with a drag and drop, and I think things are about to pick up because now we've got two of the deadliest uh, lures in the water, deadliest baits in the water. I think we're about to get a few more hits, you guys, so stick with us. What you want to do is you want to just lightly pop like this lightly yeah just just yep Five, two, three, slow and steady bad. and then just only reel to bring in that slack and then just kind of keep popping them basically you just want to pop them along the bottoms so no sometimes i'll pop it like 15 times before i start reeling again because the thing is you're barely doing anything with each with each um pop you're not even hardly moving it off on the bottom you're bare you're barely moving that worm he's just kind of darting around the weight's kind of like staying on the bottom just moving on the bottom and so yeah and you might just let it sit for a minute keep the line tight though that way you can detect the bites i'm telling you get it get a cast by that aerator he's on he's on he's on jacob's on with the dragon drop first ever dragon drop fish oh it's a good one it's a good one yeah check him out yo Dude, hold on here, let me go get the big camera. Jacob's first ever drag and drop fish Guys, or drop shot. Second time around the pond, we got them dialed in. Mo they mostly always hit on the jig. And uh, so we circled the pond, I got one hit on the jig. Weston was slaying him on the little drag and drop and he set me up and a couple minutes later, got the first drag and drop fish ever, so. Sick, boys, all right. I just lost my drag and drop, so I'm in trouble, dudes. I'm just starting to throw the lipless now. Hopefully, that I can get something. Cool, that was a cool bite because I felt him. My rod tip was just going down, and I was like, <laughs> "You're like, wait, am I caught on something or is it fish?" Yeah. <laughs> and then you just kept going with it. Sick, dude. Heck yes. I'm gonna try the big one. I'm gonna say screw it. Okay guys, here's what we're rocking. Bluegill Zinger Spinnerbait, this is the half ounce, and then a 3.3 inch Saucy Swimmer, and this is in the green pumpkin blue color. So we have got a dangerous combo right here. I think it's the feeding frenzy about to take off. And then Jacob's still rocking that drop shot. I'm sure he's gonna catch three to my one, but I'm gonna see if I can't get that big old double digit out of this crazy pond. Here we go. First cast with the half ounce Zinger. Oh, I honestly I don't know because I think if it was the line from the aerator I would have gotten snagged so I think it was a fish he grabbed the uh, I bet he just grabbed the blades Wow that was nuts okay we did get a bite on the zinger but I'm going to uh, go all out the last 20 minutes and give the old two and a half ounce swim bait a throw I mean yeah none of my none of my rods are rated for this It's a freaking stick! Oh my god! I was tripping! <laughs> Holy shit! Got my hopes up. Stupid. All right, guys, we are wrapping things up. Nothing on the Jackal Gantor rails. We threw them for like the last 20 minutes. Yeah. And uh, 20, 30 maybe. And we were, well, no, I don't think it's 30. 30 but, no. but we uh, were expecting a hit. I got that tree pounder, I know you saw that, I was freaking out, and then also we almost caught a big old bluegill that looked exactly like the gantrells, which is why I assumed they might be a heavy hitter, but I'm thinking maybe in another hour when it's closer to sunset is yeah. when they might go after something they, like that. Like 4.30 to 5 o'clock is when they really... 4.30 to 5 o'clock, and it's only 4.15 now, I've got to split and get to work. I'm going to tie Jacob on one more drag and drop, and he's going to rock this thing until sunset, probably catch a bunch more, send me pictures, and I will have missed out on the epic bite that is going to be this evening's bonanza but i got to get to work so i'm gonna go ahead and split i hope you guys enjoyed today's video everything we threw today you can get at shop carl's for 30 percent off of your baits i don't know where you normally buy from i'm always stocking up from carl's you guys can do the same get you some <gasps>